guys, I'm here at the Emirates. This is the game. I'm going to be doing a vlog today for the game Arsenal versus Leicester. Right now, it's about 2.30ish. I'm very confident that we're going to win this game, guys, today. Hopefully, we do. We need to win this game. It's a must-win game. If we lose today, it could really start a lot of trouble for us because our next game is Liverpool. So we have to win this game. Stay confident, guys. We're going to get this. We're going to do this. I'm thinking 2-0 to the arsenal personally but yeah let's we're gonna go around ask some people what they think and you let me know what you guys think in the comment section right now what you thought originally before the game and how you're feeling now that the game's done obviously i don't know what the result's gonna be yet but at this moment in time i'm very confident guys we're gonna do this we're gonna win i think we're gonna need to get all three points today because if we drop points today it's really gonna set us up badly going forward but yeah Definitely got to get these three points. I'm feeling confident. Emil Smith Rowe is going to possibly be back in the starting 11. I'll be back in the next video very, very soon. I'm most likely going to check the lineup before I go inside. And then once I go inside, I'll show you guys a little bit of the atmosphere. But yeah, you already know what it is the Kitty G on EGTV. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's go! All the way from Sydney, Australia. Yes, Arsenal is global. You guys already know it. What are you doing, Rohan? How'd you get here, man? You flew I, down? I did fly down. When did you fly down? It was about a week ago. I'm going to be here for the Brighton game, going to be here for this game and the Liverpool game How as well. did you become an Arsenal fan all the way from Sydney, Australia? I um, want to know. Um, it's been 20 years actually, nearly 20 years that I've been supporting the club. And you know what they say, you find yourself sometimes within the Arsenal. And I wasn't exactly always based in Sydney. Um, I only recently moved there maybe for the past seven or eight years I've been based over there primarily uh, but either way I mean I was previously in the Middle East but before that as well I unfortunately started supporting them right after the Invincibles uh, <laughs> but you know I have considerable hopes that good times are going to ensue pretty soon there you go ladies and gentlemen Arsenal or Arsenal versus Leicester since we're at home at the Emirates what do you say Arsenal win Leicester to win I reckon it's going to be 3-1 3-1 Arsenal? 3-1 Arsenal. There you go. Three goals. And if we score three goals, you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. 2,000 Premier League goals for Arsenal. And we're going to be the third team to do that. Liverpool just did it the other day. We do it today. Three goals. That's all we need. And hopefully our boys can do well. Who, who's your favorite player at Arsenal right now? Right now it's Odegaard. Odegaard? Yeah. You know who mine is. Bukaro Saka. But yeah. Uh, final question. Were you ever Arteta out? No. There's always been a long-term vision behind this particular process and now we're starting to see the fruits of waiting it out and we weren't impetuous and I guess towards the in the next couple of years we're going to bear fruits of all the hardships we've endured over the last couple of years. It's been a bit tumultuous ever since um, Wenger left but I reckon now we finally got the right guy and Arteta is progressing as a manager. And who he is right now is, is not who he was last season. He's making giant steps and our team is making giant steps as well. There you and go, look, ladies and gentlemen. And I look one forward right to watching the team as well as him grow. Yo go. guys, we're at the Emirates here and I got Daniel here with me and he wants yeah, and we we were just talking about some stuff about Arsenal. I wanna hear I wanna hear what you guys think about this. What do you think about top four, Daniel? Um, yeah, um, I, I think uh, for the past few years, couple of seasons, we've been struggling to get to top four. And um, I'm happy that this season we actually have a huge shot for the top four. And I, I think we just need to, you know, keep supporting the team, you know, keep backing them up. And, uh, you know, always be positive, you know, um, courtesy of other teams sleeping, you know, you know, we're losing their games and drawing and giving up points. And, you know, we keep pushing and pushing. Like today is very, very important to us. We need to win this game against Leicester. It's very, very important. And uh, I hope I hope we win and we make top four. I mean, it's it's it's. Are you confident? Um, yes. Um, okay. Before, um, I, I, I will tell you a few months from, from like few few months ago, I wasn't really confident because I, I thought we were not getting in, you know, uh, the team right. And after the last transfer season, we didn't bring anybody in. Who's so, impressed you the most? The players? Um, I would say the new signings, um, Odegaard. Odegaard really Ramsdale. impressed me. Ramsdale, yeah, Tommy really. Yasu, Tommy Yasso. Yeah. and also Martinelli came into the squad, and also he's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I, I think, I mean, I, I know he got called up for Brazil, 
international yeah i mean it's he's he's been brilliant okay finally yeah. score prediction i'm putting you on the spot um i would say arsenal two goals there you go. 2-0. Two 2-0 two to the Arsenal. I'm going I'm going for the exact same score line. Okay, okay. There you go. And you know what? I'm a good luck charm. Every time we go, we win. So hopefully, right. hopefully All it right. continues. I got Daniel here with me. Let's There's talk no about it. Tradition. We do score predictions before the game. And I got my boy Samuel here. What are you saying, girl? Listen, Leicester City, they ain't good defensively. The league can goals. I'm just going to say 3-0 Arsenal, minimum. 3-0. There you go. He said 3-0. Well, who do you think is going to score? I'm going to say Lacazette. I'm going controversial. Thomas Farr, he's going to score a banger today. Okay, you know I love that. And Bukayo Saka, tackle, bro. That's it. 3-0. There you go. Team news is out, guys. And it's completely an unchanged side. Sorry. I... Team news is out, guys. And it's completely an unchanged side. I got... My guy Nathan, right? yeah. and I got Samuel on the cut. What do you What are you guys saying about the team, man? What do you guys saying? What do you think about the team? Same team as Watford. Hopefully, we've got to start with the same intensity against Watford today because Leicester are better than Watford. They're a good side. Madison, you know what Barnes can do as well. So it'll be a tough game today. But if we start start well, get an early goal, I reckon we we'll win. Score prediction. Three one. I'm going to uh, two nil. You already know that. But the fact that it's an unchanged side, hopefully that gives us some consistency, some continuity going forward with the defense and the attack, and we can show Leicester uh, all, all, all of what we're made of. And with the crowd and everybody buzzing today, I'm definitely hopeful that we can get it done. What do you yeah, say? Listen, you don't change the winning formula, guy. We've won our last four games with that lineup, so you don't change it. Leave it as it is. Listen, Leicester ain't good defensively, so I'm saying three no Arsenal, Lacazette, Party, and Saka. Boom. Anyways, big up, guys. Martinelli got fouled in the box, no penalty. Two minutes in, we've been the much better side right now. Mikhail Saka. Oh, Saka! 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 Oh! Off Saka for a goal kick. Oh, first dangerous moment of the game, seven minutes in. Oh my god, Martinelli's chance! That could have been easily 1 0. Good save for offside. Come on! Close. Oh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Very close right there. Eight minutes in. Come on, Tierney. Cross it in. Oh, nothing comes from the front. Good job. Good job. Come on. We're, we're really giving it to Leicester. And whenever they attack us at this moment in time, we're not, it doesn't seem like we have anything to worry about. Score! Yes, no, no. Yes, no. 
just 17 minutes into the game, you notice a big difference in watching the game live. You see Lacazette constantly making more things happen off the ball than on the ball. And Bakayo Saka seems to be the out ball every time. Okay, Saka! Okay, Saka! Okay! Cedric! Lacazette! Saka! Oh, Saka! Come on! Pate! Pate! Oh, Pate hit the bar! Pate hit the bar! Odegaard! Oh, Odegaard's down! Pate! Laka! Oh my god, the play's dead! Come on! Don't give up! Odegaard! Tini! Gabriel Martinelli has it on the left wing. Tries to cross it in. Goes to Arsenal! Shaka shoots it, hits. Nothing comes from it. That whole possession. Partey scored a goal and hit the bar right now. This game is Partey's running the show right now. Saved by Ramsdale. Definitely England's number one in my opinion. Ten times a player of Pickford. Oh no. Oh. 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 Thank God. It's out. Let's go. One time, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. After the first 15 minutes where we dominated and we took a lot of shots, it's been all Leicester, and, uh, and we, we've been playing very like lackluster. We need to get better in the final third. We were very good at the beginning, but now it's kind of slow. Halftime score 1 0. I'm telling you right now, we need to get our act together for the second half. That second part of the first half, who? Half time here at the Emirates Stadium. He did say Partey was going to score. Now Lacazette and Saka, bro. That's what we need. Lacazette and Saka. There you go. Two more goals needed. He oh, 3 0, bro. We have to smash it. Set piece Arsenal. Leicester are not that good at set pieces. So let's see what can happen here. We got Saka and Cedric to deliver the ball. Saka Odegaard Cleared out Odegaard can't win the second ball Kieran Tierney has it What is Kieran Tierney going to do? Oh, that was so close Ben White So close Set piece Odegaard crosses it in Ben White oh, oh my god How did we not score that? Second time now. Pate could have had a hat trick by now. VAR. Fuck VAR. It might be a penalty. It might be a penalty. Ah, let's go, penalty. Lack of set time to score. Come on, Martinelli. Tierney. Martinelli. Martinelli. Tierney. Shaka. Ah, oh, don't tell me he's dead. Oh. 
Tierney, she can bake, Ricky Bobby pass it in. Lock us up. That was so close from Lacazette, header four post, wide. Martinelli is coming on for Emma Smith, bro. Woo! Standing ovation from everybody at the Emirates. Everybody. Come on, Shaka! Lacazette and Pate go. Only thing that was missing was it ended 2 0. I predicted that. He predicted two of the goal scorers. Good day at the Emirates. And you know what? We go home with the three points. That's all that matters. Bring on Liverpool, bro. Bring on Liverpool. Let's go. I told you guys I go to games. It's good luck. And you guys may be saying I'm not going to enough games. You know what? I'm going to the Manchester United game. And I'm going to the Brighton game. And I'm going to run this whole luck thing until we lose. I'm not going to Liverpool. You guys think I'm crazy. I'm not going to Liverpool. <laughs>